I, I applaud NBC for trying to create a Sunday night football feel on Saturday night with college football. It's just a slightly different scenario in that on Sunday night they have the uh, they're the only game and the hut levels are way way higher than they are on Saturday night. And, so, and then on top of that, Saturday night they're going to be against uh, a number of other games on either ESPN yep. or FS1. So it's uh, a slightly different different deal. I think for ESPN or for NBC, a lot of it had to do with finding something to tie to Notre Dame so that they have a some shoulder programming and that, that they can promote, you know, cross promote between the Notre Dame game into the Big Ten game. And sometimes you might, you know, I'm not sure that there wasn't some carve out for Notre Dame to be that primetime game on, on certain occasions. And maybe NBC doesn't have a game that week or has a game, a, a, a game on a different outlet like USA network or something like that. But that would make Notre sense. Dame, yeah. Notre Dame, it's, it's good. I think, you know, the AD at Notre Dame uh, was quoted yesterday saying, you know, for people to talk about us outside of the Notre Dame games, that's a good, that's good for us. And he's absolutely right. I mean, you had those Notre Dame games, six, seven home games, just kind of floating around out there. You never know. There is no consistency to them. You know, since they're all home games, they don't play all six home games in a row. They play at different times. And so it's very important to have something to let your viewers know where you can find these things. Yeah, the casual fan never really knew exactly what time Notre Dame was going to be on. You had to go search for it, et cetera. You bring up Notre Dame now. At the deal with NBC, they're looking to make $75 million off their media rights annually moving forward. Uh, that'd be a combination of the ACC rights, uh, their share of the college football playoff, which I want to hit with you here in just a minute, and of course their deal with NBC going forward. Now, I would have sworn that the Big Ten would be less likely to sign with NBC if they wanted to force Notre Dame to join a conference. Uh, but is it possible that the Big Ten-NBC deal actually helps the chances of landing the Irish? I know that Jack Schwarbrick really seem to like the idea of being paired with the Big Ten and yet still remaining independent. Uh, does this help or hurt the chances? I think what, you know, Jack wants is to be able to have his cake and eat it too. I think he, <laughs> wants, he wants the money and he wants the independence. And as long as he has that combined with a, a you know, a clear and reasonable path to the football playoffs, he's going to probably stay independent. I think the worry for them ultimately is if these conferences get so big or bigger than they currently are, and he doesn't have the ability to get as many ga good games because you've got to play nine or 10 conference games and he loses his ability to schedule non-conference with some top teams that might chase him there. I think he's going to get the money. I think between, you know, NBC and Peacock and what they get from the ACC, I really think they're going to be fine and will get up, you know, they might not get to 75 million, but they're going to get darn close. Uh, I think also you got to remember they, they do very well in the college football playoff. Um, you know, <laughs> the only guy who gets <laughs> their own share. share. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're not dividing it by anything. And so, um, you know, that helps them every year. And I think based on what I read about the last uh, uh, scenarios they were talking about, Notre Dame would retain that, you know, that ability to participate and participate by themselves and i think that you know jack was on the committee and so i i certainly think that was something that he, he would have been pretty adamant about well that is something you know kevin warren brought up uh he's maybe softened on his stance regarding aqs in the playoff and greg sankey of course has never really wanted aqs with it uh, that definitely opens a window for Notre Dame to have a path there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.